Hello my friends, my name is LazerJet, welcome back to Train Simulator 2022. Today we are doing another train race. Now, someone requested this to me ages ago and I just haven't got around to doing it until now, so uh, sorry for the long wait. Oh boy, I do not feel well today. No, I'm actually being very serious, I'm not actually very well today. Um, I've actually got a really horrible... Uh, pain inside my stomach and I can't explain it because I'm not a you know I'm, I'm not a doctor I don't know how to describe it but basically I'm in so much pain today which is uh, the main reason why I don't actually have much enthusiasm making this video at the moment because uh, I'm actually I, I should be rest resting but I can't because you know I love you guys so much and I I, I want to keep the channel going yeah like even though I'm not very well we, we still got to keep the channel going but I'll just let you guys know that uh, the, the reason why I have a lack of enthusiasm is because I'm not very well but anyway enough about me let's get back to the game today we have got two streamliners we've got electric power and steam power a class 390 now I actually I, I really do like these things this is, this is probably one of, one of my favorite electric trains in Britain and representing steam power, we have the Class A4 Mallard, uh, top speed of 126 miles per hour, don't you know? But the fact is that we've got two streamliners, and we're going to see which one is the fastest. Now, probably thinking, it's obvious it's going to be electric power, but actually, believe it or not, the Class 390 does have a very slow start. Now, Mallard is pulling some AP Mark 1s because I thought it would be a bit unfair if Mallard wasn't pulling anything because, you know, if if we have a high speed of train that's pulling some coaches and then, you know, Mallard needs to be pulling some passengers as well. So it kind of balances that out a bit, which is why I thought it would be, be fair to have Mallard, Mallard, M Mallard pulling some coaches. Mallard, Mallard. God, I'm so unwell that I can't even pronounce the name properly. So I'm going to be driving the Superclass 47. And we're going to see which train is, uh, well, is basically the fastest. Now, you're probably thinking, hold on, the electric power will win, obviously, because it's a high-speed locomotive, well, high-speed train, I should say, really. And if you're new to the channel, make sure you click the subscribe button, turn the bell notification on as well, so you stay notified to the channel. It's just a click of a button. And I also want to say a big thank you to you guys to get in this channel up to 77,900 subscribers. We are so close to that big 80,000. So make sure you click the subscribe button and uh, get your parents to subscribe as well because mums and dads do like the channel. They do enjoy my videos. Right, so let's go to the world editor. Uh, go to the train icon and we're going to program these trains to do, ooh, should we say 166% power? I think that's a good idea, Mr. Oliver. Let's do that. So the class 390 is on platform 2, I believe, and it's engine number 1. So we'll pop you on platform 2. Where's platform 2? Ah, there it is. Uh, we'll have you at 166% power. And Mallard is engine number 3, and you are on platform, I believe, platform 4. So let's have a look. Platform 4, there you are. And we'll have you at 166 power as well. Ooh. Right, so programming's done. I'm going to move the Superclass 47 up a bit so I can actually get like a, a good look at these uh, trains starting. So who do you think is going to win? Out of uh, the Class A4 Mallard or the Class 390? Leave your answer in the comment section down below because, you know, I do like reading your guys' comments. Which one do you guys think is going to win? Uh, say it now and... Um, and let's just get on with it, Oliver. Stop wasting time and let's just see what's going to happen. That is what I shall do. Let's click the play button. Uh, would I like to save this? Yes. And let us get racing. I do like this new racetrack. And away they go. Oh, dear, oh, dear. The class uh, 390 is pulling away a lot more faster than Mallard is. Oh, dear, Mallard. You are, f uh, you are falling behind, Mallard. I think it's because of these coaches. These coaches are very heavy. So away goes the class 390. That actually started off a lot quicker than I thought. I'm actually, I'm, I'm, I'm impressed. So let's give ourselves a little bit of uh, power. Uh, the class 390 is, well, I think she's already won that one, isn't she? Hmm. Maybe it's because of the coaches, because in fairness, she is pulling a lot of coaches. Hmm. And the class 390 is now literally out of sight. No. No, no, I'm stopping the race. I'm sorry, I won't have that. How about we just give her the one coach? Because, you know, it, it does need a support coach to, uh, when it's travelling on the main line. So I'll, I'll give her just the one coach and then and see if it, if it has a more fighting chance. 
Maybe. I don't know. Click play. Would I like to save? Yes. You guys might think this is cheating. I argue... Yeah, you're probably right. And away they're going. Already, that is a massive difference. It's still slow at start, but Mallard could catch up. I don't know. But already, that's made a massive uh, difference, getting rid of all those AP heavy coaches. But again, Mallard is still falling behind. She, she might pick up speed when she gets moving. I'm, 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 I'm not really good at commentating these things. I've, I've, I've run out of energy today. I actually, I, actually, I haven't run out of energy. I've, got, I've, I've had no energy to begin with. Alright, so Mallard is doing about... 40-ish miles per hour, maybe more. Class 390 is probably doing about a million. So we'll see you later, Mallard. I want to catch up to the class uh, 390 and see um, and see uh, what kind of speed she's doing. Right, we're going past the estate, which is where all these houses are. Uh, I, th I think I should name parts of this map. Like uh, I should call it like the estate or um, or something. I, I don't know. So anyway, the class 390 is doing about. 170 something ish probably 175 miles per hour i think i don't know but i do love the way it just leans into the into the corner like look, look, look at the way it leans into those turns god that actually that looks so cool i do like i do like the the, the leaning sister i don't know what it's called but like the whole train leans into the curves like i don't know what i don't know the actual name for it but it, it does look pretty cool and let's have a look and see where Mallard is on the map Uh The map uh, shows that Mallard is there and the class 390 is there. So already, uh, there's a bit of a gap. Let's apply the brakes and let's go in reverse and see how fast Mallard is going now. Aha, there's Mallard. So we're going to apply our brakes, move forward a bit. Oh, she's going at, at some interesting speed. How fast is Mallard going? Let's see if we try and sink speed. Uh, oh, she's going. She's going quite fast, actually. Um, she's doing about ooh, 100 and 150 something ish miles per hour, something like that. I'm not. I don't know. So I'm doing 167 miles per hour. Mallard is probably doing 100 miles per hour. Um, because I, I don't actually know how fast she is actually going. So we're trying to link speeds. So I think she, I think she's doing about 160. So that's probably. 15 miles per hour slower than the, than the class 390 if we actually look on the map the class 390 oh my lord look at where it is it's already it's already gone past the bridge and it's on the final stretch to where like the finish line is so let me just show you like where it like i don't i don't even know if i'll be able to see it from here i'm not sure let's see um no there we go there it is it's gone past that is in, that is literally insane. Like, it's already at the finish line, and, like, where are we? We're, we're not even at the bridge yet. This is, um... Do you ever get that impression where you feel like you're completely wasting your time? I don't have that. Because this is fun, people! I do like doing these, even though... Because, you know, how often do you see a Class A4, such as one as good as Malar, doing about 160-something-ish miles per hour? And it looks really cool, doesn't it? Like... Having a class um, 47 next to a class A4 at high speed does look, actually, it does look really cool. Let's get like a nice cool cab view, shall we? Can I move around? Ooh, can I try to apply the brakes just a little bit? Ooh, my lord. Every time I, like, every time I apply, the brake, the, apply the brakes ever so slightly, the whole thing, like the whole G-force of inside the cab is, is, is ridiculous. And I think Mallard might be... Slowing down a bit. I can't really see because there's a thingy in the way. I want to get a good look at Mallard. Mallard. Right, the final stretch. Mallard. Apply the brakes a little bit more. A little bit more. There we go. Oh my god, it does look cool. I do like the look of those wheels. It's just a shame that half of them are covered up. I think I'd prefer a Class A4 when it shows off all the wheels rather than just having the wheels like half covered. Do you, do you guys know what I mean? Like... Union of South Africa or Sonata Gresley. I do prefer a Class A4 when all of the wheels are on show. Some of you might agree, some of you might disagree. They might think, Oliver, the Class A4 looks better when, when the wheels are covered up because it makes it more streamlined. Yes, it does make it look, look more streamlined, but it does, doesn't look right, in, in, in my opinion. 
I mean, everyone's entitled to their own opinion, okay? This channel is all about having your own opinion. Well, actually, this channel is all about having my own opinion. But, like, I'm always open to hear what you guys have to say in the comments. That's why I don't judge you guys. Because, you know, you guys are, are what keep the channel alive. Right, so obviously it was a hollow victory for the Class 390. It absolutely annihilated the Class A4 Mallard. It does look nice, though, having uh, two different kind of uh, power type streamline trains next to each other. I, I, th I think it's actually really cool. So parking next to uh, the Class 390 Mallard. There you go. Lovely. I'll tell you what, the Mallard in this texture as well, like... With the shadowing, it looks, it looks almost like Train Sim World, in a way. If you got, if you if, if you know what I mean. If not, then just never mind. But like, I mean, the lighting and the shadowing in 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 in, in it just that shot. Like, actually, I'm, I'm gonna save that. I'm gonna. What, what was it? F12. Yes, it was F12. I've just saved that. That's uh, that, maybe that should be like the uh, the thumbnail. No, Oliver. Like you know, you got to think. It's such a cool shot, though. I really, really like that. But that concludes our video for today, my friends. Uh, again, I'm sorry that I'm not very enthusiastic today because you know I'm not actually feeling well. Uh, I have had this pain for about a week now. But probably thinking, oh wow, Oliver, if you've had this pain for a week, then you should go see a doctor. I really should go see a doctor. But the thing is, I don't like talking to doctors, and I don't like going to hospitals. Like hospitals and doctors. They terrify me. I don't know why, but, like, it's it's a fear. It's a phobia, don't you? Because, you know, you, you can't explain why you're afraid of them. You just, you, you, you just are. But make sure you click the subscribe button. Follow me on Twitter and Instagram and Twitch. All the links are in the description. Guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Have a good day. And I'll see you guys again next time. Bye for now. <laughs>